Hey, it's Billy Evan here. Got your Tuesday devotion. Um, we're going to try this a little bit differently. We've been trying to give you guys weekly spiritual content ever since this pandemic started and, you know, trying to come up with different ways, right? Like you've been sitting and watching me talk now since February. So I'm sure you're probably sick of my face at this point. And so at Youth Group a lot, we love to, I love to teach along with a whiteboard. And, you know, if nothing else, the kids always get a good kick out of how bad my drawings are. So we're going to do this little, we're going to try shooting a couple of devotions like this with a whiteboard going and everything. And I'm using my mouse here, so you're really going to get a kick out of how bad the drawings are. But we're going to try. You know what I mean? If nothing else, a failed experiment, we might have a little bit of fun with it. So also for this devotion, this is going to, coming out of something that we're building on from youth group that has just struck me as so interesting that I want to make a whole study out of it. And so at youth group, we've been doing this kind of uh, talk about like, why bother with different elements? And so it's like, one was like, why bother with church, right? Like, why even go? And then another one is, we just did last time, it was, why bother with, like, the historical or, like, the legend books of the Bible, right? So in the 21st century, why bother cracking Genesis was essentially what we talked about at youth group, and we walked through everything. And we're going to do, like, a part two of that. And while I've been researching and preparing to do that, I I've just come across this really interesting stuff about why bother with the book of Numbers. And these articles and these blog posts just struck me so much that I really, I dug into them that I want to make a little mini study for you guys. So and we're going to stick with doing our prayer challenges on Thursdays. We're going to take a break from the faith talks and we're going to try these horribly drawn whiteboard talks. So the first thing that really struck me that I want to show you guys as to why bother at all with the book of Numbers or why bother with Old Testament stories at all is this sentence from Pathos. And it says, when we sit down and we read historical books, we begin to realize what gripping narratives they are. And these narratives, we encounter men and women trapped in difficult and extraordinary circumstances and see how they face them. We see stories of love, betrayal, cowardice, courage, and outright evil. In our Christian culture, where we're always looking for a practical takeaway, we should learn to sit and enjoy the narratives of God's work among his people. That sentence, guys, struck me like crazy. Because again, we'll stick here, we'll use our little whiteboard. Nobody, when they're sitting and they're talking to a friend, so here's your friend and here's you, and your friend is telling you a story, right? You don't sit there and you say, well, what's in it for me? What's the practical application, right? If your spouse comes home or your partner comes home and you say, how is work? And they start telling you, you don't go, well, hold on a second, what's in it for me? What's the practical application? No, that's terrible. That's literally not how relationships work. And so we want to, we're talking about having a relationship with God. We need to be good in that relationship. So, sorry, I'm trying to move my whiteboard along here. When God tells us a story, why do we gloss over it or ignore it or say, God, what's in this story for me? Right? That's, that's totally wrong. That sentence just struck me. So if you get nothing else from this book of Numbers study is, or any Old Testament study, is there are amazing stories in here that we're just ignoring from our Bible, stories that God is telling us because we want practical application for a Tuesday afternoon, right? And I think part of it is it's just so much easier to do this. This study took, or like this video, took way more prep work than a lot of the other videos of just coming up with something to say. So what I want to give you is we're going to look at numbers, and we're going to look at Numbers, wow, that's so bad, writing with this. And we're going to look at Numbers chapter 14. And so in Numbers 14, it's a gripping story of revolt and rebellion. So to give you a little context, you know, Israel's been wandering around in the desert, and they come to the promised land, okay? And now our man Moses here, this is my terribly drawn Moses, he sends a couple spies. So the, he sends 12. So there's 12 spies. They go into the promised land and they check things out. And what they find in the promised land is that the promised land, oops, went too far there, is filled with huge people, giants, 
with weapons. And they're like, there's no way. We're not taking the promised land. Uh-uh. Except for two spies. Two of the spies say, hey, we got this. And what happens then is there's this whole revolt. And all the people rise up and they're all mad at Moses because they're like, Moses, you brought us to this land and yet we can't have it. And so there's this gripping story of revolt and action and fighting and everything like that. And so, and then God shows up and all this kind of, so my, the thing I want you guys to do for this Tuesday devotion is to pause from your day, take the time to read Numbers 14 and just get lost in the story. Read it as a story. Don't read it as a practical application. Don't read it as a, what lesson can I take away from my life? Read it as a story and see what you find in there. And then, so... Like I mentioned, so that's the first reason as to why we should enter the book of Numbers. So every one of these, for the next couple of Tuesdays, we're going to do another one of the highlights from these articles. So today's reason was there's just good stories in there. Read it for the good stories. And then we'll look at other reasons why you should take on the book of Numbers. So thanks for watching.